Hey, how do you mix orchestral music? EQ, 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 comp, EQ, 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 delay, reverb. So this kind of thing, right? So 95% of your mixing is done by equalizers. But after you get to know the secret techniques, you'll be able to mix them more naturally, efficiently, and faster like magic. Today, I'm telling you the number one tip to mix orchestral music, which is saturation. Label, thank you for the comment. If you have any requests, leave comments like label or join my Discord server. I'll answer them as soon as possible. Over mixing orchestras is terrible. Orchestral instruments are different from synths, guitars, and drums. When you try to capture an orchestral instrument aggressively, you lose the realism. So you have to control the frequency balance and dynamics naturally. That's why Saturation does good jobs. Think of it as a combination of an EQ and compressor in a natural way. Today I'm telling you the three of the major usages of saturation. Let's begin with the first one, preamp and console. It adds presence to an instrument. I always insert it on basses. First, fill it on wanted frequencies like noise floors. Then persist it with EQs, comps, etc. I mean mix individual instruments and row them to a bass. Insert a preamp or a console before mixing. It introduces an analog frequency curve. I also insert it on master bus. Automate volume cut 20 Hz and insert a preamp. Then start mastering. My favorite preamps are Archurias. I also recommend Analog Obsession's Brit Pre as a free choice. Tube saturation as warmth. Instead of the fixed frequencies of equalizers, tube saturation as second harmonics. I use it after EQs and comps to color the instruments. Let's take a listen. I also use it on master bus, insert it right after compression to add warmth and presence. Be careful not to make your mix muddy. My favorite plugin is Sound Toys Radiator. Tom Hockenberg, aka Junkie XL, use it too. I also love the tube saturation in Urge C20. If you want a freebie, Flex Single Tube Amp is a good choice. Cubase has a built-in one tuba, by the way. Are you enjoying this video? Please hit like to let me know you like this kind of content. If not, please share this video with your friends and ask them whether the tips are legit or not. If you love cinematic music, please subscribe for tutorials, walkthroughs, and reviews. Tape saturation affects high frequencies and adds clarity in air. Like tube saturation, I inserted after EQs and comps to color the instrument. Let's take a listen. I also use it on a master bus. Insert it right after compression to add clarity. Be careful not to make your mix hush. My favorite plugin is Softube's tape. I heard you hear Salin has great control of sounds. By the way, Cubase and Logic have built-in tape plugins. That's it, use saturation instead of EQs and comps to work fast and efficiently. Of course, you can be more creative. For example, Fab Filter Salon and Isotope Trash 2 can do multi band saturation. Do you have tips to mix orchestral music? Please share them in the comments. If you want to know more about producing cinematic music, check this playlist full of tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you in that video. If you can dream it, you can create it.